Hi Facebookers and YouTubers, I'm Joyce reporting at the end of day 12 of my 30 days of finances. Um, today I got 28 months reconciled. They were all in one account. I had them originally recorded as 16 months. I was off by a year. <laughs> Um, so it was actually 28 months. I can, I think I can only count the 16 toward my total because my total only, um, only counted the 16. So either way, I'm still on track for trying to get 16 months reconciled per day. Um, even though there were more, it's anyway, um, and it took me about 45 minutes. Not bad at all. I'm really happy about that. Um, I had a meeting with Jamie of New York Life um, today regarding long-term care insurance. I wanted to look into that for my dad. It's probably too late, meaning he's too old uh, to qualify right now. Um, but we may be able to look into Medicaid and we can certainly look into long-term care insurance for ourselves for the future. Um, as I've said before, we have no children to take care of us if we are ever unable to take care of ourselves and, and kids have their own lives anyway. Um, so I've got a lot of paperwork to look over. Um, I was... A little bit lost we have a follow-up meeting next week so um, hopefully in the meantime I can look over that and have some questions for him um, also today oh well because of that um, you know it, it's funny how it takes having company over which we don't very often we're out in the middle of the country and don't get many visitors but uh, it's funny how having company can make me realize just how embarrassed I am about the condition of my home. Um, so I think that's going to be my next month of 30 days, 30 days of housekeeping. <laughs> um, anyway, we can talk about that next month. Um, lots going on this week for Let's Stay Together Pets, my charitable organization for pets and their people. Um, We've got one post going right now for a cat that needs to be rehomed. She is absolutely adorable. Please check her out. Um, we're on Facebook at Let's Stay Together Pets. Her name is Willow. Um, and we also had another client call. She is going to have to be moving by the end of this month and she takes in a lot of hard luck cases she currently has 10 dogs and three cats that she needs to rehome the poor woman is so distraught she feels like she's abandoning them um, I will be getting them posted soon um, we still need to collaborate on how she wants it done and hopefully we can get pictures and videos from her um, so please check out let's stay together pets on Facebook and um, and pass on our posts at least if you're not able to adopt any animals yourself um, Tonight, um, well actually this morning, uh, my dad went to Denny's. It used to be his regular thing. It, it will be again, I'm sure. Before he broke his hip, he went to Denny's almost every morning. There's a group of guys he sits with and visits with every morning. Um, and it's been almost a month now since he's been there. Um, he felt like he was ready to go this morning and we we did get there we had to use the wheelchair um and he had a nice visit with the guys and he was not feeling well very soon after we got there um he thought it was a mistake i think he's just not used to it he's not used to getting out you know it's been a while so hopefully he'll be interested in going again in maybe a week or so you know he got some rest when he got back to the nursing center and he looked really good tonight um, when I got to his apartment tonight um, 
to take care of his cats, the one cat, Lucius, always, always, always greets me at the door. He was not there. I mean, I didn't even have the door open and I was in a panic. <laughs> um, he is older and he wasn't feeling well this morning. I opened the door and in the kitchen there was vomit, there was blood. It was just, it was horrifying. Um, Doug was with me and found him in the bathroom. We thought for sure he was dead, but he was not. <laughs> we, um, we took him into the uh, clinic um, for an emergency visit and the um, Dr. Stewart treated him for irritation, stomach irritation, thinks he may have irritable bowel syndrome. So gave him a lot of medication to help calm his digestive system and treat possibly an infection. And uh, he did not get any food tonight, which I'm sure he wasn't happy about because he did seem ready to eat. Um, but uh, hopefully tomorrow morning things will be good and we have some medication to give him <laughs> twice a day for a while. Um, and possibly a different kind of food um, to help with his possible IBS. So, it's been a full day. It's actually been a full week so far. And to that point, I forgot. Um, Monday was Doug's and my sixth wedding anniversary. We've been together 14 years, celebrated that last week. And this Monday, we have been married... I forgot already, uh, six years. So we celebrate it again. Um, I think that's it for tonight. So it's like there needs to be more. Um, I'm going to still try to get um, some of this information for Barb Reddy, the lady who has the multiple pets that need to be rehomed. Um, still try to get some of that ready for her to look over. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Talk to you then. Good night.